So guys, we all know the anchor HTML element, which allows us to produce hyperlink. Uh, there is an attribute called href, and there is some sort of the content of that link. So they click this link, and that effort of clicking that link will direct you to the URL that you put in the href. Very simple stuff, right? And if we go into Chrome, just to demonstrate this, this is how it looks like. The act of clicking on this link will send, technically speaking, a GET request to that URL. And we know that, guys, right? So that's what we know about the href. I recently learned that there is a another attribute that you can add here and it's not supported by all browsers might you might my i say and what it does is basically says hey if you add uh, this attribute to that link we will send whatever url here a post request that's it. We're going to send a post request. And I have a server running on post 80 and port 8080 listening on a post uh, method. Okay, so it is it is very interesting. And, and there is there is a reason for for browsers adding that mainly mainly tracking. But I was just baffled by the idea of of completely changing the semantic of the web of having a URL which is almost like we know it's always sends a get request but now with ping it also sends a post request to this and let's check it out guys so if I refresh this now and I look you can see that now I have this ping so what will happen is exactly the same Synchronously, we will direct you to this page, but asynchronously, we're going to send a post command to this exact URL. So if you have a bunch of Git query parameter, we're going to post that stuff, right? And it, let, how about we look at the content, guys, and see what, what does this post request really do? And if I do, let's have a, how about we actually... Um, debug this right so i'm gonna put a, a post uh, method here and i'm gonna listen to that post request. so at the moment i receive a post request here on my server that i just spun up i'm just gonna pause here i'm not gonna respond to the server and if i do this now the moment i do that obviously the navigation happened but look at that i received a post request so if i have cookies on my website those cookies will be sent if i have a special behavior that i want to do this behavior will be executed right and you can send mind you that this post request has a bunch of headers so how about we actually look at the headers and, and see what what is what what's so special about this post request and then I'm going to show you how, how is it used in most of the browsers. So we're going to do a new terminal, debug console. And this is the rec, right? Rec.headers. Let's do this. Content type first. What is the content type of this? It's a special content type that we never seen before. It's called pink. Okay. So we could i couldn't really look at the body of the post request but from from the from reading on the mdn it looks like it's just the the four letter pink so it's, there's nothing in the body however you can send as much information in the get request itself okay which is pretty uh, <laughs> it is there's pretty scary if you think about it right so let, let's uh, let's change this to query and i'm going to to do the following right and i'm going to do like uh, q equal one some values here right and what you can do 
is fascinating. Not only one URL, you can post to many URLs, right? So I'm gonna do this now. I'm going to to add three space separated URLs. And what will the browser do is it was gonna send asynchronously three post commands to those URLs by just the fact of clicking a single stinking link. I don't know what to say about this, guys. It's just very, very scary, right? Post commands in general. Imagine this post command. If you can sneak in this to a URL to a Bank of America that does that does an actual transfer, I can trick you to transfer money to my account by just clicking on a link, right? You might say, Hussein, that's not really, you can always do that by sending a form post, but that's, that's, that was harder. This is way easier now. And I'm really surprised why browsers have enabled this. Okay, let's, let's go ahead, let's go on, let's go on, let's go on, <laughs> let's continue. Now, let's see what will happen if I go back, refresh, let's take a look at the inspect. All right, we have three URLs. Will, will, we, will we see three post commands? Well, I'm not sure. Look at that. Okay, we have a debug, right? We received the first one, we received the second one, and we received the third one. Okay, guys, so we know that ping is being used, at least in Google Chrome, by default, okay? So now, the fact of just clicking sent multiple post requests to, 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 to this target, right? So I can think of so many use cases where things can go really bad. You're going to a URL, okay? You send a post command to this. Okay. Imagine you can DDoS someone with this, right? If, if you can generate enough URLs that fakely go to some place, but they in the process sends post commands to somewhere else, right? Obviously, it's, it's first of all, let's discuss why does it exist first. It's used for tracking, okay? And let's explain that. I'm gonna go to google.com. If I go to google.com and search for Hussein Nasser, let me, let me use uh, incognito, better. And I search for Hussein Nasser. You're gonna see a bunch of URLs, okay? And if I look and inspect one of the URL, you would say, okay, Hussein, the, the href should go to that directly, right? Which it does, right? Which it does, it goes directly to that. But look at this, there's a ping. So what happened here is, yeah, when you click, you will be navigated to that URL. But first, I'm not, it's not correct to say first because this is sent asynchronously, right? Just like the Bacon API, not Bacon, Beacon API, which we discussed right here. Go check it out. But look at that. It's sending a, a slash URL, so it's the same Google command, but it's sending a bunch of information tracking you basically cookies that proves that this is identically you right so it can improve the search result quote and quote improve the search result so it can track you basically it's like okay we know we need to know where what you're doing hussein where what what links are you clicking and obviously it sends it sends also the url that you are about to click so you can track okay hussein click this link first and the second one uh, right click this link to say, okay, this link is very popular. So we're going to increase the page rank to, to a higher rate. So that's how they do it with pink. Okay. But let's go to Firefox. I'm going to go to Firefox, private window. Firefox by default does not support pink. So, and Google knows that. When you do that, you, you, Inspect I element. Do you think Google will just think, okay, it's not supported, so we're not gonna put the uh, ping element? Wrong. Look what they do. The href goes directly to not the site that you are supposed to go. It goes to the Google themselves. 
and it does a server side redirect essentially right because it says okay send me that and there is a bunch of information here there's the linkedin url whatever like my linkedin profile and some information and there's like a mouse events happening so it's it's way slower obviously and that's another reason <laughs> maybe that's another reason google did that so like okay it's obviously slower right because first of all it's a server side redirect that means we're gonna s the act of clicking the link doesn't go to linkedin it goes to google.com and they they don't lie look at that they show, actually show you go to google.com and that google.com will send a 301 I forgot. I think it's a 301 will say, oh, redirect to this, then the browser. But before it did that, it, it logged that information that you, Hussein, or anonymous Hussein, or whatever information can we know to track you, you click that link. So they know. Either way, whether you disabled this behavior or you did not, you will not be able to. Uh, to escape this google will track you right whether whether this is a, a good kind of tracking or it's just to improve their search engine yeah brave browser i think uh, disabled it by default firefox you can actually if you want to enable that you go about config and you accept the risk and you say i don't know send ping i think and you can enable that if you want to Okay, if you want to use this feature, I can see some use cases where this could be useful, but most of the time it's just, I don't know, man, it's just so dangerous. We are very, if we click on a link, if, if, you, if you send me that link from, to WhatsApp, um, I don't think the WhatsApp client will obey this stuff because it's just a URL. There is no html and whatsapp right there's no any of that stuff right or any other client for that say so i'm not gonna be worried with a simple git request right but a post is very very dangerous we all know what post is an unsafe method guys post is a method that we send in order to change the state of the backend in order to make a transfer, in order to change the state in a database, in order to, to insert a new record, okay? And, and, and this, the, the browser sending a post request, right? Obviously, it's not going to consume any content back. That's why uh, you saw me return 204 because it's useless. Just like the Beacon API, go check it out. It just doesn't really care about the response it's just the idea is to send it and the moment i get acknowledged that mean i know it's sent right and then it will immediately give up so it's not a very it's not a very important request per se but post requests are used to to initiate transfers to initiate a, a secure stuff and you might argue that hussein uh, we have gaptchas and stuff like that but yeah not all websites have that so mere fact of having a post command sent is dangerous but if you have already logged in and your cookie type let's say same site mm, let's say lax i don't think lax will send that cookies but none will essentially send that post request with the cookies of the target website that means if you don't set your same site cookies correctly, that may be very, very, very dangerous to have pink. And you have no idea that this is happening. It's just happening, right? It's just very dangerous, guys. And I don't know how I feel about that. What do you feel about this? I can think of some use cases that might be useful, especially the idea of having a synchronous execution of post command while I'm sending that. I can use this for some application, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. This was URL ping attribute in details. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next one, guys. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.